Tower, Sears Tower, for those who know, with more for us. Good morning, Jutes. Hi, I keep accidentally calling it Sears Tower and I have yeah, to catch no. myself. Uh, <laughs> two, about uh, 2,000 people are taking the challenge, climbing the stairs of one of the world's tallest buildings, that is Willis Tower. Uh, they start in the basement and then they end up here on the sky dock that is up 105 floors. Joining us right now is Mike Deneen. He is a Chicago police sergeant, works out of the 20th district, and he is one of the people doing this climb today for Skyride Chicago. So you had an accident in 2009 and uh, suffered a brain injury. What did the doctors tell you? The doctors, when I was, uh, when I went to Shirley Ryan, they told me I'd probably never walk again. Start preparing my house for a wheelchair access. And then 11, month, 11 months later that same year, I did. I competed in the first Skyride Chicago here and did the, that in the first year, 11 months later, and I was back to work two months, two weeks after that. So it took me 11 months off work, but I was walking, talking, and back to work and living on my own. So that was very, I owe everything to the doctors at Shirley Ryan, Price Hospital, but then Shirley Ryan did all my rehab. So I owe them. That's why I come back just a little thank you for every time for all they've done for me. So you've done this all 15 years. Uh it gets harder as you get older, huh? Yeah, it gets harder. As it gets, my time keeps getting slower, but hey, hardest part is getting out of bed in the morning to show up. Then once you show up, you can do it. When you look around in the stairwell as you're doing this, you see people of all abilities. What inspires you the most? Well, that's when you see the people who are going through their rehab, like rehab through Charlie Ryan right now, going up. You see them, and I knew I was in that spot at one point. So it's just like, you see them going, I said, I gotta keep going because I want to show them that you, hey, things will get, hope, hopefully get better for you. Everything got better for me. And it's just, you keep going forward and hopefully everything will work out then. So basically, you didn't give up. You don't give up, you gotta keep trying. And it just, since, since Charlie Ryan, I've gotten a, a master's degree and done the marathon three times and this 15 time and got married. So that's, that's the most important thing. All right. So when, from the basement up here, how long does it generally take you? Right now, it takes me about 45 minutes. My first year took me 31 minutes, and I think last year it took me about an hour, but 45 minutes is about my normal time, so. Mike Janine, thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right. So this event, uh, again, celebrating its 15th anniversary uh, for the uh, all the proceeds benefit the Shirley Wright Ability Lab. And this event has already surpassed uh, $1 million raised. We are on the sky duck of Willis Tower. Back to you. All right, Judy, thank you so much. Expect delays in the South Loop this morning as thousands of people are participating in Chicago's 16th hot chocolate run. The race features four courses that start and end in Grant Park. Runners and walkers heading up the Lakefront Trail before heading south down Michigan Avenue. There are at least eight major street closures in that area for today's race. We have all of them listed at our website at WGNTV.com. Thousands of people.